everyone welcome back to the channel this is Meredith and today is a mail Monday video um, so honestly this probably will not be posted on a Monday just because I have quite a few mail Monday videos to edit and post um, so I'll just kind of put them whenever I have time um, just so that I can get the April videos out for you um, so if you are new to the channel mail Monday is basically when I go through and give first impressions about any of the items that were sent to me free for review so all of these were sent to me free for review either through influencer or Octoly. Both of those are public platforms. Sorry for the weird jump cut. There was a very loud airplane. Um, so all of these were sent to me free for review either through Influencer or through Octoly. Um, so all, both of those are kind of um, public platforms that you can use to get products that are sent to you free for review in exchange for your honest review. Um, so that being said, I am honest in my reviews, so I'm not one of the reviewers who always gives it like a five star rating because I think that'll help me in the future. Um, so take that with a grain of salt because I do get sent products pretty regularly and just so you know, I have been very honest and some of the products that have been sent recently have not been even close to like a five star rating, um, if you understand what I mean. So um, that has not impacted my ability to receive these products. Um, so if you want me to do a little bit of a video later about how I got started with Influencer or Octoly, let me know because I'm definitely open to sharing that with you, but I am not like an influencer on Octoly, I'm just a regular public user, um, so you are able to create your account that way. Um, that being said, look into Octoly and its past in terms of data security and that sort of thing. I was already too far deep into the platform when they had their data breach. Um, so let me just get started here. I have quite a few packages. One of them is very heavy and that one is a little bit unrelated to some of the other products. So I'm going to quickly start with what I believe are skincare and makeup products. And then I have a couple of household things and also some food products as well. Um, so I'm going to start with this one here. It's a little small box. It's very light. It's probably like, I don't know. I, I always pretend to know how much things weigh. I think it's probably like four ounces. So let me open it. That was very difficult to open. Um, this was just like very tough tape. It's the one with like the strings on the inside and it was like very, very, very securely fastened. Um, so this is what it is. Again, it was very light. So this is what I was expecting. So this is from Sally Hansen. So I'm very excited to try these out. If you know me in my personal life, you know basically I've broken every single fingernail I have except for my thumbs. Apparently I don't use those that often in the past couple of weeks. Basically what happened is I was doing a lot of errands, so I was using um, a lot of hand sanitizer, which is alcohol, so it made my nails very dry and brittle, so I kind of really do need these products, so it came at the perfect time. Um, so the first thing here is the um, Double Duty Base and Top Coat, so it says that our Sally Hansen Double Duty Base and Top Coat is our ultimate two-in-one product as a base coat or Panthenol formula smooths nails surface and helps hold on to color. As a top coat, nylon and pro vitamin B5 shield nails with a hard and chip resistant finish. Also, don't look at my fingernails, they're kind of gnarly right now. Um, so then I'm quite excited to have another one of these. I think I've used this like in the past, like in high school or something. So I think this has been a very big staple in the Sally Hansen line. So I'm very excited to have it again. The next thing in the box is this cuticle oil. Um, so it says, give your nails their daily dose of vitamins. Our Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil nourishes and moisturizes dry nails and cuticles. Our natural essential oil complex with vitamin E, apricot kernel, and aloe conditions cuticles while increasing nail flexibility. Um, so again, I'm very excited to try this out. I don't think I've tried this one from Sally Hansen, but I have been trying some of the other um, cuticle oils and things like that. Um, so if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I received the NCLA one from, um, uh, what's it called, BoxyCharm. And then I also used a Korean one that I had in my um, collection here. And I use those pretty regularly, so I'm going to be trying this one out. Um, if you want me to test out this product versus the one from BoxyCharm, the NCLA one, let me know. Um, personally, the NCLA one is very scented. It's the one that came in the February box, so it smells like rose and it has a ton of glitter in it. Um, so if you know BoxyCharm, you know what I'm talking about. So this one is, um, it does not have any glitter in it. I would be happy to report. And from looking at the back here on the um, ingredients list, it doesn't seem to have any scent. It has quite a lot of oils in it. So I'm gonna try to get this into focus for you um, so you can read it for yourself as well. 
Um, but I am very excited to try these out. Um, if you want to learn more about my opinions, number one, there will be a short review in my empties video for May. And then also I will post some midterm reviews and those sort of things on my Instagram. And my long-term reviews will likely be on my blog at some time in the future. The next couple of products here are from Optalia. They usually send them in these nondescript bubble mailers. So let me open this first one. Uh, sorry about another jump cut. As you can hear, it's apparently like white path season right now. Um, they come in quite quickly. I don't know what's going on. So this product is from Dermalogica. It's the Power Bright Dark Spot Serum. It says it fades spots fast. So I do believe this is quite expensive. Um, when I looked at it, I think it was like $98 and this is one fluid ounce and 30 mLs. Um, so I'm very excited to try this out. I'll probably do like a long form video because there's one particular spot that I'm trying to target. Um, it's right here. It's um, like an age spot slash liver spot slash um, sun spot, depending on how you call it. Um, so I'm trying to target that one, but I also have quite a few acne marks here from masking. Um, but I've been very lucky to not really suffer too much from acne. Um, so these were just very recent things and I've been trying some other products to get rid of them and they have been fading. So I'm going to see if this, this product is enough to really um, have the last final punch to get rid of them. So let me see here. Um, so it says learn more about dark spots at hyperpigmentationexplained.com. So it does have a QR code, so I'm going to try to get this in focus for you. So if you want to look at that website, you're able to. Um, just put your phone over the QR code with the camera on and it should be able to open it for you. Um, but I hope it's in focus for you. Um, so basically looking at these ingredients, there are quite a few ingredients and I'm sorry there's another airplane, but I'm going to try to talk over it. Um, it says basically there's a ton of different fruit oils, different oils and extracts. I'm a little bit concerned here that there is sweet almond oil. I have been noticing a lot of the products that do cause me some irritation. It, do contain the sweet almond oil um, so I'll definitely keep that in mind otherwise there's a lot of things like ginger lavender currant jasmine cucumber um, what else is in here orange peel bergamot lemon grapefruit caster um, let's see rosemary um, so there are quite a few things in here um, so it says here that it's a power by dark spot serum again and it says start fading the appearance of dark spots within days Advanced serum begins to diminish the appearance of uneven pigmentation fast and keeps working to even skin tone over time. Light diffusing technology begins to balance the appearance of uneven pigmentation over one use and it continues working over time with potent niacinamide and hexyl, and hexyl resorcinol to help fade dark spots. Um, so I'm quite excited to try this out. Um, and then if you are interested, it is made in the United States. Um, if you do purchase it, there is um, a little seal at the top with like um, some branded logo so you know that it's a real product, which I'm very happy to see there, especially because it is so expensive. You want to make sure you're getting the right product and the official one. So let's see here. Um, so the packaging is very good here. It has like um, extra flaps and things. Um, I always like knowing what the boxes look like just in case I get like something online and I'm a little bit questioning about it. That's why I go into so much detail about it. Um, so this is what it looks like here and there's another little um, information packet in here and some additional and then there's also like an additional little insert in here for you to read about. So it says here that this is Sheba and she is a professional skin therapist. And it says, Power Bright Dark Spot Serum is professional grade skin care by the International Dermal Institute, which trains more than 100,000 skin therapists in 80 countries every year. Since 1863, we've developed skin therapist skills so that we, they can achieve financial independence through their careers. Um, so that's kind of nice to know. Um, did you know that UV radiation and air pollution are key causes of dark spots, also called hyperpigmentation? We're all vulnerable to these triggers, and while we may not be able to fully control our exposure, Power Bright Dark Spot Serum is a great way to fight back. Another crucial tool in helping to prevent hyperpigmentation daily is daily SPF use, even on cloudy days. Um, so actually that's a great transition into the next product, but I'm going to just show you what this bottle looks like here. So again, it's 1 US fluid ounces and 30 mLs, and this is what the packaging looks like for you. And it says, uh, yeah, everything is the same, directions every morning after cleansing and toning, apply one pump, allow one minute for product absorption. 
Um, so I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more because I have been testing out some vitamin C products in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna see how to um, use this product in conjunction with those or if I'm going to have to switch on and off. This is what the pump looks like. Sorry, something crazy happened, so I had to jump cut again. Um, so this is what it looks like here. So I'm gonna just give you like a quick um, look into it just because I want you to see what the texture looks like and that sort of thing. I'm actually curious myself. So this is what the texture looks like. Sorry about that. Um, so it's like white and it's kind of like a, a light sort of cream. Um, so it's kind of more on a liquid side if I'm being honest. So when I um, move it out here, it spreads very thinly and very easily. Um, so I'm actually okay putting this on my hand because my hands are actually have some sun damage as well. Um, so I would kind of like it to work on those. Um, so here we go. Um, so it is lightly scented, I would say, um, but it's not like heavily scented. It kind of smells pleasant without being perfumed. Um, so I was a little bit worried since there were so many oils in it that it was going to be heavily, heavily scented. Um, I would say it smells like some other product that I've been using recently, um, but it's just a very light skincare scent. Um, yeah, so so far I do um, really want to enjoy this product, but part of me is very scared that I'm going to really enjoy this product because it again, it is quite expensive. Um, I would say that the pump is really nice. It did disperse the amount that I needed for the back of my hand though, and my face is a lot larger than the back of my hand. So I could see going through this pretty quickly, but again, this is just my first impression about what I think about it. So the reason why I said it is a nice transition is the next package does have a sunscreen in it. So let me open it. So it is a sunscreen, as I mentioned. So I am doing a video where I am going to be comparing different sunscreens. I have about seven in my arsenal right now. Um, so this is the Sunday Riley sunscreen. It's the lighthearted broad spectrum SPF 30, zinc oxide, turmeric, and blue light defense. Um, so I believe this is a pretty new product, um, if I'm remembering correctly. I've only just started seeing it on social media recently, so I think if I would have been um, a little bit more on top of things, I could have been um, kind of close to the first pe person to review it. But again, I want to give a more full um, sort of review about sunscreens. It says, the super light, breathable, and transparent sunscreen sinks into the skin without leaving a white, chalky residue or an oily finish, making it ideal for all skin types and tones. Plant-based xanthophyll provides blue light defense, while antioxidant-rich turmeric provides balanced environmental protection. Velvet finish reduces the appearance of pores while leaving the skin with a soft, smooth texture, making it easy to use alone or under makeup. With daily use, this 99.99% oil-free, broad-spectrum formula helps prevent sun damage and premature skin aging, including lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. So the directions say... Um, to apply generously to face, neck, and decolletage as a final step in your skincare routine. Reapply throughout the day as needed. And this is made in the U.S. of responsibly sourced domestic and foreign ingredients. Um, so again, this is, sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself. These are the drug facts. So it does have octosalate 5%, octocrylene 3.5%, and zinc oxide 16.32% and it helps prevent sunburn. And if used as directed with other skin protection measures, decreases the skin, the risk of skin cancer and early skin aging caused by this. Um, so the directions say apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use this sunscreen regularly with a broad spectrum SPF value of 15 or higher and other sun protection measures, including limiting the time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear long sleeve shirts, pants, hats, and sunglasses, and reapply at least every two hours. Um, use a water-resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. And it does not appear that this one is a water-resistant one. So um, for one of the other ones that I'm reviewing is the Supergroup, and that does say a specific amount of time that it's been tested for um, water, like water activities and also for sweating. Um, so again, I don't know for sure, but since they didn't mention a call-out number, um, my guess is this one might not be water-resistant, but I would say you might want to check it out um, in more detail if that's something you're concerned about. It is B Corp and it is cruelty-free and energy efficiency. 
And that is all of the important information. This is a very small tube, and I think this one is also quite expensive, considering how small this is. So this is 1.5 fluid ounces and 45 mLs. Um, that being said, I think this is a good one to keep in your purse. Um, but I'm kind of curious because it does seem like it's mainly um, a physical sunscreen. So I personally prefer chemical or else chemical and physical mix personally. Um, but that is a personal preference thing. And this particular tube does expire in March 2023. Um, so that's another thing um, with sunscreens, you don't really want to stock up because they do expire a little bit more quickly than other products because the uh, SPF kind of degrades a little bit. Um, so it does come sealed, and I forgot to show you this, but there was a little flap here if you do purchase this, just to make sure that it is the correct and true um, product. So it is sealed, so I'm going to open it just because, again, I'm doing that review. Um, and I do use sunscreen every day, even if I have zero plans to leave my apartment, um, so I know I will get through all of these sunscreens. It does not really have a scent. Um, so to me, when I did the little sniff test there, it kind of smells like, you know, when you um, print paper and then you smell it right after it comes off the printer. I don't think you're probably supposed to do that, but I'm sure a lot of people have had that experience. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Um, so I'm going to put it on top of where I put the Dermalogica just because it is a product that was supposed to have um, sunscreen over it. Um, so I did do a little bit of a squirt there and it was pretty liquidy. I don't know if you saw that when it came out. And this is what the color is. I hope that it'll be in focus. It's kind of a very light pink. Um, yeah, again, I don't really smell any scent. So when I smooth it out here, it does apply very smoothly. And let me see if I can rub it in again over that part where I have the Power Bright Serum. So maybe I put a little bit too much, but I think it's not too much considering what I read this afternoon in the magazine in terms of how much surface area I have to cover. Um, now that I rubbed it and it does kind of have a slight scent, I'm wondering if it, it smells a little bit like dental floss, like a little bit minty, but I don't think that is in here at all. Yeah, it's not in here. Um, so it is kind of, it is have a slight scent, but it's not really like heavily fragranced or anything. I think it's just like probably the ingredients that we're all mixing together. Um, so it does have kind of a shine to it. Um, it has basically seeped in, but it is still a little bit shiny. Um, so I'll check back with this after I open the next package to see if it's still shiny or if it's just because it's a little bit wet still. So this is the next package. So it's a nondescript cardboard envelope. This is probably one of the weirdest things that I was told that I was going to be sent. So this is actually from Glad. Um, so they're basically trash bags, but they sent me like two to test out, which is quite funny to me. Um, this says it's our most sustainable trash bag made with 50% recovered plastic, 100% renewable energy, 100% recycled paperboard packaging, superior strength with double side seams and rip guard and lake guard protection. Um, so this is tall kitchen bags and um, it looks like here from this, um, this image that it comes with in a pack of 45. If you are interested in this sort of product, what else does it say here? Um, so it does have both unscented and lemon fresh scents if you wanted a scented one. And it says that it's available in, and it's available on target.com beginning in mid-April. Um, so you can probably purchase these now. They, I don't know how to review um, trash bags. Um, so I'm going to use them obviously with my trash. So I will let you know in a future video how I feel about them. Probably in an empties video, there's only two in here for me to test. And I mean, it's just either going to be if it exploded when I was carrying it to the trash can or if it's okay. Um, but I think I got the unscented ones. It's super weird to sniff trash bags, but I think it's, yeah, I think that these are unscented. They might actually be scented. There is kind of a scent, but it doesn't smell like lemon to me. But again, I'm not going to like stick my face into a trash bag. So again, I'll review these in my empties video. The final thing here is very, very heavy. So this is a couple of pasta sauces. I can already tell you that because it's from the Vero Gusta by Barilla or Barilla. And um, I was kind of shocked that I got 
chosen for this because even though I have mainly a food account on Instagram, um, I don't really get chosen for food campaigns that often on Influencer. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, so I was very shocked. And also, both myself and the postal worker were very shocked by how heavy this box was. She definitely remind or warned me about it because this is very hefty, so it was kind of a pain to carry um, because it's pasta sauce in jars. Um, so this is what the box looks like here. It says, taste the sauce worth sharing. Inside every jar of Vero Gusta, you will find an exciting new world of delicious Italian flavor, homemade taste made with nothing artificial, no added sugar or water, and only the finest ingredients. Every meal is another chance to for you to take a moment to make something delicious and indulge without compromises. So go ahead, take a moment and give yourself a true taste. Um, to true taste and no compromises. Um, so there's some packaging in here. This is actually packaged really well, um, but it's not super important knowledge for anyone. Um, it does have a little recipe in here, so I'm gonna try to like get it in focus for you. I'm gonna set it down though. It's a little bit heavy and awkward. So this is the recipe card they sent, and it is a tomato basil burrata bucatini. Um, so if you are interested in trying it out, here is the recipe for your knowledge. Um, so it seems pretty easy to make. Um, so maybe I'll try to make this and I'll post it on Instagram if I'm able to find some burrata. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if my grocery store stocks that, um, just because it's not my sort of neighborhood doesn't have that sort of product usually and I will try it out. I might also need to not have bucatini. I might need to use um, some other pasta. I think bucatini has um, a little bit of a hole, like it's hollow on the inside, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that. Um, but I'm very excited to try these out as well. Um, but here, let me just show you which pasta sauces I was provided. Okay, so they were not messing around with the packaging, which I appreciate just in case something went a little bit amok. Um, it was like wrapped in a lot of bubble wrap and also it has um, a, protective a protective plastic sheath. And it says it's Vero Gusto and this one is the tomato and basil and it's made with sweet Italian Genovese basil. Definitely pronounced that wrong. Let me open this. So you Actually unwrapping it may have made it worse in terms of glare. So it's made in Parma, Italy and it says here these are the nutrition facts. I'll try to get them in focus for you. It is 130 calories per half cup of um, sauce. So there are about four and a half servings per container. Um, it has 12% total fat, 0% cholesterol, 19% or 430 mg of sodium, 10 grams carbohydrates total, and then yeah, I'll just try to show it to you in focus here. Um, I hope you can read it. And then also here is the ingredients list as well. And they kind of just tell you about how they do the tomatoes. So I'm very excited to try this one out and I'm hoping the other one has a different flavor. So this one is um, the Calabrian Marinara. Again, I probably pronounced that wrong. It says it with medium heat. Um, so I'm very excited by this and the ingredients, not the ingredients, the nutrition facts seems about the same and I hope that's in focus for you. And then here is the ingredients list for you as well. Again, these are tomato and basil and the Calabrian, Calabrian um, marinara sauce. Um, personally, I'm very excited for this one even though I can't pronounce it um, because I do like a little bit of a spicy kick. So that was another Mail Monday for you, and as always, there was a little bit of one product in there that was a little bit interesting. This time I think I had two, so I'm usually very used to receiving like skincare and makeup stuff just because I think personally, this is all personal opinion, those companies have a little bit more extra spending room in terms of um, marketing products. Um, so I'm very excited for trying those out, um, but the two little bit interesting things were that um, those two trash bags and then the pasta sauce, but I'm very excited because both of those are very, very useful products. Um, so I'm going to check back in on the sunscreen. Um, so it does feel still like pretty greasy um, compared to some of the other ones I'm trying. Um, so I can definitely feel it on here. It feels oily to me, um, but that is just my first impression so far. And I do smell something. It smells a little bit sour, but it kind of has, again, kind of like a, it's very much a, what you would expect a sunscreen to smell like without smelling like um, Banana Boat or um, what's the other one? The famous one. I can't think of the other famous sunscreen at the moment. Yeah, but I mean, it's not bad. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's very greasy compared to some of the other ones I'm trying out. So I will be giving you obviously a fuller review in my sunscreen video, so definitely stay tuned for that if you're interested in sunscreen content. Um, thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye.